Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. And we got Mr. Wasubi with us today. How we doing today? That's a lot of Hey today's. man, what's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, yeah, doing great. Uh, thanks for having me, inviting me to Leather Leverage again. It's been a while. Definitely yeah. excited to be back. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Episode 91. We're getting closer and closer. Oh, we're to slowly but surely, man. The, the magic 100 mark, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, so it's actually crazy, right? Like the fact that you've been doing this for like a uh, hundred plus weeks. That's yeah. uh, that's nearly two years, right? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think I need like a hundred and like twenty-seven. I think Commander's Horn was like the longest running like show mm. type thing. So we still got a ways yeah. to go, but I, it feels good, man. It feels good to do something like for that long. I think it's like a pretty good milestone. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I mean, and besides, when you take like a more analytical approach, sort of like have a proper intro, have like two different games, it, it really is useful, right? Like it's good content. So I, I think so, and I think it's like it, it's always just been like a nice dynamic of having like me, the not so professional player, <laughs> and uh, the pro players. You know, I think it's yeah, it's yeah, good yeah, yeah. to you know bounce off each other ideas and plays and whatnot and exactly um, oh don't do that or you know like you know it, i think it, it it just showcases and then it, it also too you know you see like your opponent you know what maybe they did wrong and stuff like that so even if you don't like playing this list you could watch your opponent play the other list and maybe not how to play it <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> But uh, this yeah, is... besides, like you can uh, you can invite a bunch of different people as well from the team, right? Have a uh, different yeah. personalities every time. Yeah, it's, it's it's really nice. Yeah. yeah, you get different play styles. You know, some people play you know certain ways, and other people you know are a little bit more high rolly. You know, so you you get different yeah, options yeah. there too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, this is the updated uh, Blaze of Glory list with. Uh, um, you know, the Yuta combo and Iced. Uh, it's mm -hmm. got Herkia in it. What else changed with it? Uh, well, like, originally this deck used to play like Hialmar and Great Swords. But this one basically, uh, like you said, it has the Herkia, which means you're sacrificing the Great Sword package. And you're playing like a Totem and more Quark instead as your top hand. Um, I think originally the Aretuza boys were playing this, like Shaggy and Redraim uh, have had very good success with this. They swear by this deck, so uh, it, it turned out to be the, the standard for SK eventually. So Yeah, yeah. I, I like it because it, it seemed like, too, that Greatsword package just went too big, you know? Yeah. And you go up against I Nilfgaard agree. and they just, you know, they start licking their chops on those, you know, big units and then... You know, I, I like I like this version better just because it has a lot of damage. You know, you got more answers. It seemed like before with the other one, it was like, well, there's something on the board. I can't really do anything about it. You know, it's like yeah, it you was get, a bit clunky for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's well, it's got those like nice like setups. You know, you could drop a hunter, save the ping. You know, use it the next turn to maybe kill something with, you know bear witcher or something you know what i mean it's it just i, I yeah. like those little like niche combos that you got with it, it, it mm -hmm. i think it works really well yeah. and i mean like you will probably notice though like this deck doesn't really have that many uh high-end warriors um so the blood eagle is a bit worse like uh you really only have the herald and the ice right then you go all the way down to eight for, for skirtle as your warriors right but that's perfectly fine right like you just you will see in our games, the Blood Eagle is literally just used to bring out like your 4P or 5P warriors. Sometimes you take the Herkia and whatnot. Of course, you will have games where you need the Death Blow because you missed your Herald or your Iced. But treat your Blood Eagle more as a amphibious assault in this list, if it makes sense, right? Yeah. It's more so to bring the engines other than, you know, try to look for something like a Turgvi or a, or a Hialmar. So, yeah. Yeah, and plus two, it's it's thinning your deck out of the smaller cards so that you can possibly yeah. get the ice going with, you exactly. know, discarding a Bear Witcher or a Invader in round three, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Even the Berserker can be, like, a nice target. It will still do the pings and everything, so. Yeah, yeah like I but said, yeah. I, I like this version a lot. I think it functions mm -hmm. really well. 
Um, Unfortunately, Morkvarg, you know, no longer has the warrior tag, so... Yeah. Uh, but that's fine. Like, you just need this card against uh, so many things in the meta right now. Great against Cleaver, just kills that right away because he's one base power. Then you've got, obviously, Nilfgaard running around with quadruple Joachims, so... <laughs> yeah. I still, yeah. I still think Morkvarg is related to Gru from Despicable Me. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a bit uh, on the edgy side. Yeah. And I mean, like, then you've got your totem, you know, just good proactive points, whether bleed. you want to bleed someone bleed or card, if yeah. you're defending the bleed, it's just good points. Obviously, feel free to replace either of those with Turgvi, but I, I just think this setup is good, man. It's great against Nilfgaard. You you will see in the video we beat a Nilfgaard player in a long round three. So that's what the Herkia does, man. Herkia does magic tricks. She's yeah. great. And don't forget about the Bear Witcher Menor too. Don't always just yeah. reach right for that thing. You know, you might have a better shot with the Mentor. For sure, the Mentor can go very big if you've got like your fleet active with like the Red Bows and Herkia. There's gonna be a lot of blood there's man. So yeah, the one game yeah. for sure, Herkia was MVP. Yeah, this card is crazy good. Uh, definitely shout out to Redraim or Shaggy who came up with this list. It's it, it just performs so much better currently, especially against uh, Nilfgaard, which I would imagine. Uh, most of you guys think is the deck to beat so yeah for sure this is the list this is the list to do it with definitely yeah so um a couple games today um once again masubi like always man thank you so much for always taking the time to record with me man even when i'm yeah. not feeling 100 <laughs> percent yeah it's gonna be fun man yeah. you'll get there one day you'll, you'll feel great in no time i'm sure i hope so man but um a couple games like always make sure you guys check out tlg.gg good stuff there for uh the meta snapshot um didn't we do an updated uh crafting or budget yeah, we updated something. budget decks as well. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you're a newer too, player, man. you can head over to tlg.gg slash budget. And yeah, basically, even Skellige is building towards this deck in, in like four uh, different steps. We try to like separate it each time, you know, craft something like a thousand scraps uh, per step. Uh, so it's like obtainable without a couple of days of playing. Yeah, those, those I know for a fact those ones take a long time to put together so if you're a newer yeah. player you know um one let me know in the comments you know that you know if you do use the budget guide or whatever and it helps you out man because I, I i like passing that info on to the other guys that you know do spend a lot of time putting it together man because I, I know that those those for sure take a lot of time like the snapshots you know you just go through your you know well what's good what you know what's tier one what's tier two what's tier three but like that other stuff like you gotta like get down to like how much scraps what cards are good yeah like finding a somewhat synergy build so going back to the very basics yeah yeah but um a couple games probably a bonus video for this uh later on in the week thank you guys. Old, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you at the end uh oh. Actual uh, Chinese oh, meta breaker. This <laughs> is not a virtue I am known to have. Hey, look at that. This guy, this oh, he's got the Ooh, collar. Oh, God. oh no. Collar is like a bad omen. <laughs> yeah. Right, I guess Skirtle is the. It's the awkward card. Uh, yeah, one of the boats can go. Fleet those. Well, look at that. We've got. The Bolds and Herkia to lead the fleet. That's good. Uh, yeah. Red Bolds in the background. Very cool. We just slash. Mm hmm. Force him into proactivity. Sounds good. Uh, and Cantarella into Herald. Nah. <laughs> I mean, like, we don't even mind if he does that, honestly. Slave Hunter. Yeah, he has more engines, as expected. So... Guess we just ping it with the Hunter. Do we do this first? Yeah, yeah I mean like... Marauder? But, 
Oh, you're right. Maybe he doesn't play an engine uh, or like an assimilate. Sure, sure. Let's put it to one. But I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're we, right. We don't play the boat, right? We never play the boat. Nah. Two ping on there. The guns are I think uh, saving the boats for later is good as well. Yeah. Uh, we just wanna we just wanna develop graveyard here, honestly. Like uh, hunter, raider, pass. You know, Nilfgaard players, they will always take the long round, being all confident, thinking they're favored. And then you hit them with the fleet, and the Herkia, and the Morkvarg, and it's like, well... <laughs> so he did copy it. Oh. Well, he, uh, this was a bad Vigo, right? Like, he doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have the hunting pack active. Maybe he has it in hand, so that's why he did this, but... speak to him. Sure. Well, you could you could still kill it with Hunter from Beagle. I think that's fine. Oh, go here. Yeah, kill the three. Why not? Like we're just thinning the deck a bit, right? Makes sense to me. Might lock this, which is whatever. Oh, Vigo is a big card, honestly, like... Yeah. Compared to what we're planning to play here, it's like... It's <laughs> looking down at these garbage bronzes. Not sure why he's playing Yeah, if we, were on, if we were on blue, we'd be in trouble. Well, yeah, we would have to go faster, right? Like, if you're on blue, you just drop the bolt, you give it Veil, and then... Uh, fine, right? Wait, this is this is not good. Like you're supposed to use this on like uh, one of our warriors. Try to deny cards, maybe. So remedy is gone. That's very good to know. Um, right? He's like, I'm gonna kill the hunter. Sure. Oh. He doesn't lock it. Hmm. Do we go? Thank you, just. I think you just develop the raiders, right? Go for graveyard. He could actually lock this, deny the veteran. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Such is life. Ooh, yeah, so he had the hunting peg in hand. Then the Vigo play actually made sense. Oh, look at the synergy, because they're beasts, he gets the ping. Okay. So at this point, do we actually have the reach? We would need like 17 points. Not really, right? No, not with the bronzes. Yeah, we don't we don't want to play any of these good cards. So, but you know how it usually goes with Nilfgaard players. They're just gonna pass into the long round, being all confident. The clog just filled the board with spies. The, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really do much against us anyway. All right. Well, bye bye bolts. Uh, Well, I mean, I guess you could toss the beagle then. Could just use Vabion for it later. Oh. Ah, that's fine. He could do like a, like a soft bleed with Joachim and whatnot. Get it back next round with the location. Yeah, I think that's like the whole game plan for that deck. Hmm. Just abuse Joachim. Yeah. Well, we actually don't have the Morkvark, so oh, we can get abuse. It's kind of slow. We just match it with the mm. boat, or do we play a hunter first? I think you can go raiding fleet, actually. Just thin it out. Yeah. Makes our mulligans less awkward, for sure. And he might just pass on this, <laughs> honestly. Um, he also might slam a Bradens here. Which we kind of have to start respecting. Yeah, there you go. Well, 
He's like long round, amigo long round, yeah. Um, do you wanna? I thought, okay. I, thought about I guess. Thing, but... Yeah, I I, th I don't think so. I think it's fine to just. Mm. All right. Let's get there it. he is. Let's there he. Oh, okay, okay. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Okay. Oh boy. So what are we even <laughs> missing? Uh, it's just totem rats and like kadooch. Mm. Invader is good, right? For the discard. Possibly. Yeah, invader is good. I guess the hunter could be our mulligan. It's like a bit weak. Okay, the, the, these I like. They're just nice. Oh, okay. So we just start boat, huh? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he copies. He, like, because. If he wants to copy it right away, he is losing a lot of engine and deploy value, right? Right. So, it just makes things awkward for him. He does. Does he have a raider? Oh, he does. Oh, he, he just plays hunter. ball for no reason. Sure. Oh dear. Have I something in my Playing team? ball right away is extremely weird to me. <laughs> okay. I guess it's Herkia time then, huh? Buddy. He's a madman. It's actually like he will have to poison this boat, right? Right. He, I mean, I guess he doesn't necessarily have to. But he does have a couple options with the Marauder if he can mm -hmm, in those mm -hmm. cripple. Yeah, I think I think you actually delay the cripple for a bit. It's a huge play. Uh, yeah. We just wait. No, no need to get hasty. I don't think he plays an aristocrat here. <laughs> nah, I mean he should. He should uh, probably go. Yeah, there's the Bradens, but he's not getting engine value, which is really nice. Take him to the woods and release the hounds. We just scored all it. Just mm -hmm. Scored all the Bradens. I don't know. We do have a couple of options. Bradens could just die to other things as well. Uh, hmm. Could go Herald as well. Because now the invo is worse. I guess he could damage it with Slave Hunter and cool that way still. Yeah, I think Herald is fine, right? Yeah, we just keep going with the engines, I suppose. Up and at him, you lazy bastards! You'll sleep yes, when you're the dead. Hunter. Uh, Raider, for sure, right? Yeah. The big boy. Yeah. Alright, the Dane gets boosted up a bit, but it's fine. Ah, come on, Herkia. Yeah. Wanted to, wanted you to hit the boat. Boat time. But I mean, I guess we just go. War of Clans no, over the Beagle, right? Like, we don't really have Beagle targets, do we? Like, we just have a bunch of bronzes? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The same. Oh. Cup Bear. Okay. I mean. Sure. So we just take out the boat? Mm hmm. I think you do. Yeah. In case he gets iced. Um, mm. Then we're going Vobjorn into Beagle, right? Sure, yeah. I think we Beagle out the Hunter. Like Just make our. Yeah, make our odds of. Uh, this thins two cards, right? Whereas War of Clans only thins one. Yeah, we're just making our eyes better, basically. Are we grabbing uh... the Berserker or are we grabbing this? Probably the hunter, right? Yeah, yeah engine is nice. I promise you a thing what? Mm. Name him. Yeah, sure. It's not bad. Yeah, I mean, this Herkia is smurfing. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't 
There's the Joachim. Yep. I shall slug them into submission. Oh, Two, man. So the, the dame is actually double proking. That's probably our skirtle at this point, honestly. Yeah, I think you just. Drinking can be hazardous to your health. Your little dame before she grows too big, yeah. I will not let my neck for that. Right. Hitting. I mean, we don't want to mark the fang anyway. No. He should get. Hopefully. He'll probably get usurper off of the next one, to be honest. Oh, that would be a good mark. <laughs> Alright, there's the fang number two. Sure. Just actually still need bloodthirst. Just drop. Yeah, I guess you just drop the raider or the berserker. It doesn't really matter too much. Drop the berserker. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. Hit one of the fours. There we go. Good job. Then we just drop the ice. Then he's leadering. Okay, he's leadering right now. Or oh, it was Meno for joust. Okay. So do you lead it right now, or do you just wait? I mean, either way, it's a bit weak, Oh, he honestly. should've used it on this, right? Instead of killing on what? that. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe. So we just lead her now, huh? Well, do we... Giving him a poison, I think we can wait. I, I, I mean, like, why would you care if he gets iced? I guess he gets to draw a card? And discard a card. Shouldn't matter too much though. So we're just going raider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's fine. Women, children, elders. Oh. Nice. Alright. Could have did that last turn, we would have been real grateful. <laughs> okay. Now he goes leader for the ice. That's he gets to uh, discard something, but like I'm pretty sure we just want to wait with this uh, with this iced for better targets for like a second Joachim or something. Yeah, I mean it's only a three-two, so it's not that great, honestly. He has specials no too. Not one step. I mean, yeah, but like this this is a very very weak leader for him, right? He also has to discard something. So. Okay. Mm, I don't know, honestly. You just hit Playing the mark is a bit awkward. Uh, you just dropped the seven, huh? I mean, like, but what's your ice discard then? You know what I mean? Like, what are we drawing oh. from this deck? I guess it's only Worf Clans that's bad. Ah, but there's, like, look, there's a. Totem and Kadooch as well. So we just play leader now. What if we what if we mark the ten? Just take the take the loss. It's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Could hold as well. I don't think you have to use. Yeah. I think you hold. Nice. <laughs> That's a lot of blood there. Yeah, where's our uh where is our uh, Kaduch wow. for the... Okay, so that's gonna go to 10. The, I mean, that's just our leader target, right? Yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. Strike first and strike hard. Yeah. Um, so which row are we supposed to go with ice? Are there any engines uh, in the deck? I don't think so, right? No. No. Okay. Yeah. So let's go over. So we just go back or front. Doesn't matter either way. And shall stand okay. So we get rid of the invader. Sure. Your skull will make a fine tanker. Pretty good. Get smacked. Get smacked, my dude. So he gets the poison still. He has like a usurper and a poison probably. Just in case, I don't know what shenanigans could come of that, but yeah, <laughs> let's just I mean, honestly, it. we should have um, saved it to just enable another blood thirst, right? But, uh, yeah. Oh, for so the, he has the poison now. 
Yeah, for the bear guy. This, this will be close, right? He gets to... Oh god, that's so big. So the only question is if he actually has the... So I wasn't paying attention if, if he had another fangs. Yeah, if it actually comes down to... Uh, if it actually comes down to... Um, us not having one more point from the thing... Yeah, this could kill the one, but it could also hit the... Oh, perfect. Yeah. So we go for the big guy. For the mentor, or whatever his name is. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a thickums. Embrace the cold. Oh, 73, he's got two mm. ping. Yeah. Poison doesn't do it. Well, poison. So how much? How much does the Fang actually play for? It's Roderick, right? Yeah. Roderick for he what? Doesn't even have a, he doesn't even have a Fang. He wasn't paying attention, anyways. Nope. Indeed. Yeah. I mean, like the sequencing was a bit awkward, but yeah. There Good you go. Good game, though. Good highlight game. Yeah. Sure. I mean, the long round can really go either way. Yeah. Not bad. It's uh, it's not as one-sided for Nilfgaard as people think. Like this version with Herkia and Morkvarg is uh, has a very good shot against Nilfgaard, especially so. For sure. For sure. Syndicates. Mm, oh yeah. To arms, all of you. Uh, blue coin too. That's not nice. No. Uh, I got the bolt though. That's a good start. Um. Hmm. Drop the Yuda, right? Yeah, probably uh, War of Clans as well. Can we do otherwise? I mean, like we could uh, uh, the veteran, the invader, but yeah, I mean, we what's... don't break the boat, right? Yeah, hopefully, Let's hopefully. Say. Okay. That's good. That's bad. So we start out with the boat and. Give it a bomb mm -hmm, for it. sure. Yeah, I mean, like we have to be mindful of uh, Philippa as well, uh, in case he tries to like steal it. Do we? Uh, so we bump it? Well, we could, yeah, because otherwise it just gets paydayed. Yeah. Uh, it depends, though. He could like try to generate profit and then just push you out of the rounds. Yeah. I mean, you can't have a Philip of a play for uh, 19 when you're in blue coin, right? That's uh. Yeah, that's where, like you said, you got to know when to get out. Yeah, yeah. Especially if they draw the nuts with mm. double safe cracker and. Yeah, but I mean, it's nice. Like we get multiple pings if he if he goes like Ferco. The bolt can put in some work for sure. There's one. All right. How Maybe. big is the? <laughs> what? That's pretty big. Wait. That's quite big. So we go double boat, or do we drop the? Mm -hmm. I, I think you have to because otherwise you're really at a risk. Uh, I mean, even if he kills this, like the bleeding will will go off for multiple turns, so that's nice. Uh, probably we'll have something like a payday or a bloody good fun, but. Yeah, there we go. Mm. So now we develop the graveyard with the raider, or do we drop the um, hunter and get the hunter online? I'm wondering. I mean, like, he, he doesn't really have any coins in the bank yet. If he goes Siggy or something, that's only seven points, and he's losing two from the bleed. I think you're fine to like still take it a bit slow. Could go like Hunter, yeah. And then I mean, we'll have to pass at a certain point for sure. But yeah, we want the War of Clans set up, we want the Herald. So. Right. Mm. Double Berserker is kind of awkward too. Well, I mean, it's it's just nice points, right? But, yeah. It just depends whether or not he drew the Furco Justice on Nero, one of those three. 
Yeah, or the, if he has the four damage ones. Some of them run assault, don't they? Mm hmm. For Siggy, yeah. Dip. Okay. Dips. So now he's threatening the Philippa uh, with like a one liter charge. Which would play for 15, loses 2, so it's a 13 point play. He's at 19. Mm, we would need to go. We would need to play for 10 points basically, which is quite hard. So. And if he steals it, we really. Unless the pings go through, we don't really have a way to answer it, huh? Yeah, I mean, like, we c you could play one of the Berserkers for sure. I think it's too early to pass still. And if he goes for the Philippa, we could just easily play the other Berserker. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, to me, it just looks like he doesn't have access to the other Safecracker, right? No. If I don't know, some some people use it on a bleed. Ooh. Okay. He gets his boat out. Yeah. So is this where we jump out? Well, I mean, again, um, so we're getting what? Uh, we're getting three there, five with the bleed and the ping. Drop the other berserker, huh? So we get five, we're basically at sixteen. There's two more. Yeah. I think you can I think you can still play the other one actually, yeah. I'll yeah. Smash your mom. Shut up, I get bastard. Don't see why not. You might get the I mean, kill this have, uh... berserker or safe cracker. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. a he was a big boy too. There's a jackal. Does he full spell? Um, I mean, like, he shouldn't really go for, like, any full spell shenanigans. Uh, it's a shame we don't have the Blood Eagle here. A really big shame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess you could just drop the Bear Witcher to kill the Safecracker, but... This is enabled too. Oh no, it's three. No, yeah, you no would more. need three, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I think Berwitcher is fine, right? Just kill the engine and need a hand. Just chop one off. Because I mean, at this point, Philippa doesn't get him there. I think he would have did it a while ago. Yeah, probably right. I mean, it still gets him there by a point, but then his entire bank is like emptied out. And we probably just go Herkia into a delayed raider, try to get out that way. Yeah, I guess Syndicate never really. He's got two specials left. One of them's probably Swindle. Hmm, could be. Cleaver. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Well, that plays for 15 if he spends twice. Yeah. I mean, it's not good actually for him. So we just. Uh, oh, it doesn't kill it, huh? I think you just get rid of your junk, honestly. You could play the. the raider. Just to have a graveyard enabled, right? I mean, this is not good Burn by him at all. Do I pick yeah, I guess this. Sure. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, like you're probably passing next turn, unless we have a chance to get ahead with the getting slash still. Yeah. Blacksmith, Go Blacksmith sure. Tales, tales. Um, so it is the version from Saber, I think, with a. Talon bro. I'll have to play around that, to keep that in mind. Yeah, I've been trying to somewhat. Mm, yeah, I mean like we just trade the slash, right? Pretty sure. I mean uh, okay, the other way is to try and play the Herkia. Cause she's not gonna be too useful later on, right? I think it's fine, yeah. Play play the Herkia and Blow the horn. 
Ping the boat. Keep this new. Let's try to get the. Oh no, it might kill the kill the boat then. Well, yeah, but I mean, he's at zero coins. I think you hold this honestly, just uh, for the gutting slash next turn. I don't think you have to use it. Mm. Pinging the muscle, huh? Okay. I mean, that's nice. We can actually um, kill the jackal. Not that it matters too much, but. Uh, four. Sure. It's not good anyways. Like, denies the thing, but. Um. Well, I mean, I, I guess we just click the Herkia then. Yeah, her Oops. Ah, yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. Now oh, we can actually gutting slash the Jekyll. That's not bad. Oh, right here. No, 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 no. Just um, hit the muscle or the bolt, right? Enable the bloodthirst and then. Yeah, now you can kill Killing the spender is pretty good. Well, yeah, I mean, he still has two more, but you know. Yeah, but getting, I don't know, getting Cleaver out of him. Hmm. <laughs> I like that as well. So, like, uh, how many crimes has he played? I think he has only one four. More left. Which, ah, okay, there's a time. So we were never getting out of the round, which is fine. I would just pass. Why is he spending? <laughs> mm, not sure. <laughs> yeah. Not sure at all. So he has no carryover. He burned Cleaver, mm. Tavern Brawl. Yeah. And, I mean. And one Jackal. So he has Jacques left, Philippa. Yeah, Jacques, Jackal, Philippa. Still, still enough spenders, I think. Uh, there's the ice. Don't really want this in our hand, right? No blood eagle though. If he doesn't dry pass and we end up having to spend this iced, I think we lose. I think you probably mulligan it. I think. The iced? Yeah. Just hope to draw it later. Oof. Okay. Well. No totem, no more Clark. No, okay, that just dry pass. Oh god, if only we knew, man. I mean, he shouldn't do this, right? Oh, god, like, he ready? never should do this. Oh no. Uh, well, now all we have to do is just draw the ice again. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or blood or beagle. beagle. No, but, like, then we also have to set it up somehow, so, yeah. Uh, can Mr. Opponent get punished? Oh, well, those are pretty good draws. Uh, you dropped the seven, huh? Mm hmm. Hey. So now we have War of Clans or a, uh,. Yeah, I mean, like, we're missing Skirtle and more Quark. Ah, uh, you could honestly mold the... Uh, or just keep this hand, probably. Like, I don't know. Probably don't have to get too greedy, because we killed his Jekyll anyway. Right. He hasn't not... played Furco either. Yeah. So we get it for free. Like... Possibly. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we go uh... Totem first, or we go Cripple? Mmm... So, could also just play the Raider to have some damage on the board, if we need it. Hmm. Totem is also fine, like I don't think it matters too much. Uh, personally, I would, yeah, this is fine, yeah. You get one Maximizes more the, yeah, exactly, maximizes the points to the, to an extent. So he still has Siggy, he still has Philippa. There's uh, the, he has to boost that though. He yeah, hasn't He's played. gonna go like shake down, right? He's oh, he's adjusted still, right? So yeah. it's a. Uh, it should be only like a six. Oh, have done it Shouldn't now. be too big, yeah. It requires patience. Yeah. So he has another two payday. Hmm. Likely, yeah. I mean, it's still okay to just go with the Herald here. Not much else to do, anyways. Did we grab the Raider? Or the... Yeah, 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 of course. 
Do we click? Hmm. I don't think so. I mean, like, you can, but I... Yeah, I don't think it matters. Um... Hmm. I'm actually... Like, he still has a lot of juice, to be honest. But, I, like, so do we. Should yeah, we well, he's gotta generate coins for the drill, if he's gonna drill. Yeah, I, well, I mean, we can just go Siggy, right? Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, and unfortunately, we don't actually have the Skirtle. Uh, then again, like, he can wipe the entire board with the drill anyway, if he has Siggy already, so... Yeah, there goes eavesdrop, sure. It's alright, we're alone here, just mm -hmm. between us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six. Yeah. So we just drop the other raider? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And ping the five? Full service. Mm, we could, yeah. I mean, he's he probably good. Like, well, I guess he... Maybe he's... Well, no, he plays drill now. Yeah, probably just goes for the drill now. Exactly. That's why I figured use it. Because he'll kill this, then he'll kill Harold. Yeah. Philippa. Oh, here comes Philip on the... Wait, is he yoinking the Herald? That's not great for him, honestly. Or this. Okay, yeah, sure. Um... Do we just go iced now? I uh, don't think it's necessary, right? Like, we can just wait. Uh, maybe play the Vabjorn? Just to make sure we don't draw the War of Clans with the iced? True. Blood first, foul blood. You hit the raider, huh? Uh. Well, yeah, yeah, I think you hit the raider and then you take the hunter and you ping the Philip, I guess. Probably. I guess we see what we hit. Okay. At this point, we could click the totem, probably, but. Drill is gonna be. I mean, like, it just depends how many coins he can generate, right? Whether or not he has the Siggy in hand. But, yeah, I would imagine he does. Okay, so he just kills this, that's interesting. Does he lose the ping? Yeah, he does. Do we just take the. Mm hmm, yeah, yeah, definitely. Kadushin. And just. Uh... Hitting the seven is awkward, right? Right. Uh, yeah, it's a bit awkward. But I guess you just hit it anyway. He shouldn't... Yeah, if he plays this smartly, he won't give us like a great ice target, which is a problem. We still go um, Bear Witcher though, right? Uh, I guess you do, yeah. Because you're also getting the heal value and... I'll cleave you into. So now here comes the drill. Mm hmm I guess we could have killed it for the drill. Well, but then we also like want the bloodthirst then. And... Right. Uh this drill is not amazing, honestly. Yeah, I don't think he has it. I think he would have played it earlier. Yeah, so he just next time. Okay. Gets the boat out. So I guess it's uh, bless RNG time, right? <laughs> right. Let's see what we draw. So wait, what's in the deck still? Uh, in which row should we play this ice? I guess back row because of Hunter. Yeah, sure. We just hit the no, two. No, 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 no. That's yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you don't hit the five. That's your leader right. target. Yeah. So we just go back row ice and see what we draw. Yeah, there's a scare though. Okay, and then we just fly this. Yeah, so now he has like no crown splitters. I mean, we're up a few points, right? I would say. <laughs> yeah, I would say. So what? What? What is the best Towards hand? It's, it's like. Oh no, he had the drill the whole he time, was man. Greedy. 
you had so many opportunities to drill us, and you just... That's such a bad spender, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all she wrote. Yeah. But yeah, guys, like, if if you're playing against Skellige, you can't play your cleaver round one. No. You it... need to save it for the bleed, because even if Skellige is a card down, like, the long round is Brutal. not that great for you. Yeah, yeah. Masubi, thanks for recording, sir. It's always a pleasure. Um, any so, are we doing any updates to the meta snapshot? No, I mean like the it's, it's quite literally though. the same, right? Yeah, yeah like the pet the patch changed nothing. So, I mean, I just I just updated the decks. Now we're doing some new videos for those decks. So that that's about it, you know. Just keeping it uh, up to date with the lists and whatnot. Yeah. So if you're uh, looking for it, tlg.gg. Dot slash meta and uh, yeah. make sure to this check out is, uh, in there as well. So yeah, and then make sure you check out the uh, Team Leviathan Gaming Twitch. Uh, lots of good stuff on there. Uh, Max was doing uh, Super Seducer three. So <laughs> yeah, it was a fun time. Yeah, so make sure you guys check that out. Thank you guys so much for everything. We'll see you next time. <laughs>